what's up guys and welcome to this video so today guy i'm going to break down the market and show you one of my favorite chart pattern so make sure you pay attention because i'm going to tell you this is very very powerful you can apply it whenever you are training all right but whether any any kind of pair that you are training you can apply the same thing all right so make sure you pay attention as you look here let me just give you an overview remember even though you want to apply chart pattern in the market always know the key area you are applying it all right always know that when you are looking for setup you need to is it support level or you is it just any random place you see you start looking for entry you understand so in this case we have to look, take a look at the overview of the market the trend what is what we call market structure let me remind you if you are analyzing there are three things you are looking for you are looking for what the first one is market structure the second one is area of value then the third one is entry trigger that's what everybody looks for all right so it depends everybody have different you know entry trigger but pay attention to this when you take a look at this you discover that overall if you are in a higher time frame the market is still heading all the way up even though it break this uh, support here but in general if you take a look at here you discover the last low is this then this one so if you come down to here and break this one then we'll see that the market have changed direction but for now we still believe that the overall the market is heading up so then but right now as you can see here you notice that the market is as what at spot level i don't know if you can see it have you seen that here market break out of it then come back to retest it and what does market do at the support level it tends to move up However, i'm still going to show you what i'm saying in the essence of the chart pattern my favorite chart pattern what is the chart pattern I'm expecting here before I buy it? Are you getting me? To confirm that this market is heading. Because some people, once market is it, they can actually buy. But we, we, me personally, if you have been following me, you notice that there is a specific entry trigger you look for before you enter. If not, immediately this market enter, you enter, put your stop loss. As you can see, this candle will just kick you out then before it takes off. So the first one is I have established the fact that here is what a key support level. All right then let me still mark out another level which we need to pay attention to in this case as you can see we have another area which is this side here yeah. having established this in what in daily time frame we also have the upside here but for now let's see keep, keep going let's keep that one aside then if i move down towards to four hours time frame remember i have already this is already showing me that okay here is a key level then i can be able to say okay what is it that I'm seeing here? I'm seeing something like this. As you can see here, we discover we have this. If we connect here, we draw our trend line. We connect here to this region. All right. Then you can also connect the downside, which is if you connect this one to this place. I don't know if you are seeing what I'm doing. Then with this here, as you can see, here, you notice that once market touch here, it come down touch here, then it goes up and touch here, then come back to touch here. So and this area is what a key support level. As you can see, here is a key support level, which is what we are able to identify in the higher time frame, right? So make sure you pay attention because I have a lot of to explain to you here. So. For now let me delete this down one because market is not heading all the way down to this place so having established the fact okay here is what area of value i remember the first one we identified the term that we are going to be looking for and the market that is going up you understand which is buying setup then we narrow it down to area of value here is area of value because as you can see what are the reasons that make this place area of value here is a support this horizontal line is showing that this place is a support level Secondly, as you can see, this trend line showing you that market touch here for the first comeback or touch is here. We look at the, the channel that the market is moving. As I've touched it for the what for the second time, actually, here is uh, maybe third time if I should use that upload. Then pay attention now. Now is the time I want to show you the chart pattern, which is my favorite. Anytime I'm looking for the setup said so if I move down to smaller time frame, you do not enter in a higher time frame, you go to higher time frame. To identify your key areas you understand then you come down to smaller time frame to enter from here now i can be able to you know expand the chart to see if you take a look at here remember 
from the higher time frame, we are already looking for a buying setup. Bear that in mind. Then the next thing now is here. If you take a look at here, you discover that why is it that market goes up here, it drops, come back, this place, it come back to here. Maybe here is a support, a, a resistance level. But since we are in one hour time frame, we are not seeing anything to confirm that. So let's let me just take you back to what to four hours time frame. Then if you come to four hours time frame, you will see you will, you will notice that here, why is it that market is rejecting here? As you can see, here is a key. Watch this. If you, if you watch it, you discover that here now is what here serves as a resistant level. As you can see, market will reject around this region. As you can see it here, you see the way market rejects here. That's why that's why when market comes all the way up here, it drop, come back again. Okay, but overall, please move to one hour time frame. I hope you are seeing. Now we are looking at this box where the markets have been hovering around. You see, markets going up and down around here. But to watch this, here is the pattern that I want to show you. Pay attention. Because you already know, remember, you already know that here is a support level, which is this line. So I'm going to delete this so that you see what I'm about to show you clearly. You have already known this. So this, the purpose of this, let me just delete it. You have already known that it's a support. I'm going to delete it. Then as I delete it now, watch. You notice that even though here is a support level, but in, in bigger time frame, we are establishing the fact that we are looking for a buying setup. Alright? Then if you take a look at here, you discover that, okay, market touch here. Then when market come back to touch it again, it creates this low. Now it's giving you this low here is a higher low, which is higher than this one. Are you getting the point? It comes here. When this one comes here, this one breaks it and go all the way up, then drop. Then you see this one again. It have created a three lows, which is what we call higher low. You understand? This one is higher than this one. Why this one is higher than this one? Let me connect it for you. If you take a look at here. You can see that by the time I connect here, you discover overall the market is moving up. So anytime that the market is giving you a come here, a touch here, drop, come all the way up, like moving, giving you higher low to the resistant level, there is a high probability that this breakout, this market breakout of here, is going to keep heading up. You understand? That is the chart pattern that I'm showing you. Whenever you, uh, you see this in the market, then make basically when market reach as you can see here, maybe ma today is Saturday. So if on Monday you notice a, some kind of consolidation around here, that is even more better because when market move all the way to here and reach here, started forming small consolidation. Then you can use pending order, place your pending order above this this line here. As market trigger it, it's going to touch here. Remember, if if you enter here, which means basically as you, as you place your entry, you just put your stop loss just below. All right. Remember, in a higher time frame, where should you take your profit? Your profit should be this trend line. Are you getting me? So, because why? Why? Because if you go to four hours time frame, you remember that we have already established the fact that the market is moving in this channel, and not just that. Even if you take a look at here, you discover that here is also a key watch here. You see that here, you notice market touch this place, drop, touch here, drop. Here, the same thing, market come around here, come back again. So you expect that this market may possibly come and touch, either I touch this level or you push all the way up to touch here, then come back and close. All right? But just expect your market to be at least you can use one is to four. One is to four. As you can see here, we have up to one is to four from this point of entry. So that is what you should expect. But don't forget that you need to also watch what if the market turn around. Because even though you are expecting the market, your analysis tells you that the market is going up. What if the market as you reach here? There is this this should be your bias. Watch. If market there is they can decide to manipulate the market, the situation when market maker will just as market open, they push the price or the push the price up here, give you false break, then come back and close here. I can tell you if such thing happens, they will trigger all the stop around here, then wire the market down. Alright, so in such scenario, if the team come back and close, you need to exit the market. Alright, 
but if market come down below here and close below this trend line then it's a sign of selling all right so these are the two buyers you need to have but make sure you execute your trade even if the market come here goes up do like see if you want to go up then come back and close here it's still entry trigger because just this time around is what is a a false break false breakout if you have not understand what false breakout is i'm going to start a video at the end of this one make sure you check out that one so that you understand how to treat false breakout very well very perfect and it's a very high probability setup don't forget to subscribe value in this video click the like button and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our video Thank you very much.